I'm Lynn Bowden, and this is my path to the pros. Some of my earliest memories playing football, it's going to take place on the north side of Youngstown, Ohio, right in my uh, grandma's uh, side yard. The house is still there today. That's where I grew up at. You know, I just uh, remember getting slammed, and all those things made me who I am today. My cousins, they're more like brothers. They made me as tough as they can. I was always the youngest out there playing with them. I really don't like to talk bad about my city, but it's like it's, it's like a ghost a ghost town for real. You know, it got a lot of athletes that could have made it, but you know they they just don't get a shot. I hate to lose, you know. I just I really I always love love winning. Growing up, especially in little league, I won all eight years of playing in the championship. Never lost a championship. I think I lost two games in all eight years. I love to win. When I played basketball growing up, you know, I really wasn't as good as I. I am now until around the sixth, seventh grade. You know, my grandfather he was a good, good basketball player, and um, you know, I was a, a pass first guy. And you know, sometimes the coaches would get on me because I had a good three-point shot, and I'd go right past people because I had a fast first step. To be honest, uh, if you ask some people back home, they'd, they'd probably tell you I'm better in basketball than football, which is hard to believe. But you know, I, I was pretty good at it. And, you know, I'm just a, a multi-talented athlete. I can play any sport there is on the planet. What made me a great quarterback, to my knowledge, I was always patient. I know how to go about talking to people and about what they're doing and how to hold them accountable. You know, I, I like to look at myself as a leader. And as a leader, you, you want to be able to take that leadership role on the team. I know how to talk to guys. You know, I'm going to say how I feel and I'm going to listen to what, how they feel. And, we're gonna figure it out and, and correct it and, and go. Sometimes we might not agree, sometimes we, we're gonna agree, you know, but I never leave someone without having them knowing that I care. The goals I had in high school was to win a state championship. You know, we came close every year. I was in high school, we just never won. And, you know, I wanted the, the second high school I went to was Warren G. Harden, uh, home of uh, Maurice Corrette, the great. You know, I just wanted to break all his records, and I did. The recruiting experience for me is very hectic. I had a lot of schools coming in. I went with Kentucky because it was just home. It was a little school, but you know, I wanted to make it to the school it is today, and I'm glad to say I had, I had a part in, in doing that. If you look back to my freshman year to now, I, I, I became a, a man. You know, I, I grew a long way. You know, I was a little selfish and a little childish kid coming in as a freshman. You know, uh, I used to tweet about the problems of not playing early and. I honestly wanted to transfer, but coach sat me down and talked to me, you know, and I learned patient, learned how to be patient and, you know, everything worked out for me and just got me where I'm at. I came in, my body uh, weight was probably 175, right, when I came in my freshman year. As my sophomore year and my junior year came around, you know, I, I probably played my junior year at 205 the whole season. My sophomore year, I played at 195, so that was a big difference. The strength and conditioning coach, coaching staff, they, they was on me. So when I was in there, they, they made sure I did what I needed to do just to be able to maintain, the, you know, taking the hits in the SEC because it's the best league you ever play in in college. I never backed down from anything, any shape, and form, you know. So it was just my competitiveness, you know, and willing to, to win and, and willing to do the extra thing to, to get to where we need to be. In my uh, sophomore year, you know, I was a pretty uh, raw uh, receiver, you know, my second year playing it. And as I was learning, you know, everything started to slow down for me. You know, I learned how to be patient, you know, learn how to just let things come to me and not, not try to make the big play right then and there. Uh, last season, you know, it was kind of crazy for me, for the whole program as a, as a whole. You know, first game, we go out there, play Toledo, we win. Second game, we go out there midway through the Third quarter is Terry go down, you know, so uh, we kind of knowing it's bad. We hearing word from the inside that he's probably going to be out for the rest of the season. Third game come around, saw your arm, he, he, he broke his wrist. Like for me, it felt like from that point on, we kind of drastically went down. South Carolina game is like a couple minutes left in the fourth quarter. You know, I just tell coach, I'm like, man, what else we got to lose? Let me go in for a drive at quarterback. We ended up scoring five plays in, in 35 seconds when I was at quarterback and going into the bye week, you know, they just, they gave me the opportunity to go out there to lead the team as a quarterback. And, you know, I never looked back from there. After Terry went down, they never even thought we would, we would win four games. We ended up winning six games with me at quarterback. Six and two, and um, I rushed for over 100 yards every game besides 
Georgia game, and I ended up being a SEC leading rushing yards leader at the end of the season, and ended up leading uh, all of NCAA in yards per carry at 7.9 yards per carry. So it was something crazy, you know, I had to adapt to it, but I, I ended up liking it, you know, through the ups and downs, and, you know, and it, it showed who, who Kentucky was and how, how we was built and what we were made of. Our team was full of uh, people that have heart and just come from nothing. So, you know, everybody wanted to grit and go win. My confidence come from the inner me. You know, I'm just, I'm very, I'm a very confident guy. You know, I think I'm the best at whatever I, whatever you put at, put in front of me. I don't care who, who's in front of me. And, you know, I, I'm always think I'm the best at it. Uh, if you turned on the film about me, you, you see I'm a competitor first. You know, I'm a, I got a dog at her heart and I'm always fight, fight to the end. Uh, my son changed my life uh, dramatically. You know, uh, I was going down the wrong path, you know, just, just hanging out, doing things I shouldn't have been doing in high school. You know, I even thought about giving up football, you know, just to be out there and, and live free, you know, because I know I knew back then as a football player, I really didn't have any, any, any freedom to do things like party and stuff like that. So I, I kind of fell in love with that. But when I found out I was having him, you know, my whole drive and, and thinking about life changed. And, you know, I had to provide for him and I, I knew I had to go, go out there and go get it. And that's just why I'm where I am today. When things get rough, I just think about my son. You know, how, how he gonna eat? If I don't do it, then who gonna do it? Every game day, I gotta take a lap around the, around the stadium. You know, I don't care if it's snowing, raining, or whatever it is, I'm, I'm gonna take that lap. You know, just just get my mind right. Then I'm gonna go to the goalpost and breathe. I got this little app on my Apple Watch. It's called Breathe and breathe for a minute and listen to the, um, the music in my headphones. And then I'm ready. This one right here, I just got it uh, a couple months ago. It said, hate it or love it, and the it is me. I just, I feel like the world gonna either hate me or love me. You know, I'm still gonna be me. What I love about football is, you know, I just, it's, it's me. You know, I get away, I, it, it takes all the pain away, it takes all the, all the outside noise, you know. I just know when I got football on my hands, you know, I can't do no wrong.